Welcome back, brave sons of Durin, and thank you for the support in the first episode. I've gotten so many comments, so many likes, and so many views already. And at the moment of this recording, I'm up at 850 likes for episode 1, which means that we're likely going to reach the 1k goal, the 1k like goal within a week. So thank you so much for the support, it really warms my heart, it really does. Thank you guys, thank you. And I also made such a brain dead move in the first episode, it's unbelievable. I rewatched it after I received the comments and oh my god, I cringed my head off. Oh boy. The mining network takes 10 turns to build without a stone walker's hall. And with a stone walker's hall, we have the building times reduced by 20%. Which, which means that this one would have taken 8 turns to build after this one. And this takes 2 turns. So I could have gotten 2 buildings. But instead, I decided to go for the mining network. Which would t take 10 turns. I could have gotten the Stonewalker's Hall and the mining network within 10 turns as well. But it didn't take the, that way. I don't know what happened there. I guess I didn't think at all. Such a brain dead move. Uh, what? Seven turns left. I'm not going to cancel it now. We're going to let it finish. But, uh, oh, damn. And we missed out on a discount as well on the mining network price. I didn't think, I guess. I, I guess I didn't think. <laughs> Such a brain dead move. Absolutely brain dead. Well, okay. The campaign. Casadum has been taken. The eastern part of the mountain is ours. We are currently attacking the western side of the mountain with our leader, Balin, and Lord Oin with his Casadum reclaimers. Uh, I think we have enough men, enough dwarves, to take it. It's going to be a bloody fight. It will be a bloody fight, but I don't want to linger here. I want to take it as quickly as I can. And what I also want to try and do, because I've seen the comments and you guys are saying that the Balrog will attack later. I can send a diplomat to Bree and Gandalf will banish the the Balrog later. Um, I guess there's going to be some kind of a script involved in that. Uh, but um, you guys have said that I could send a diplomat to Bree and Gandalf will banish the Balrog, which means that he will not even fight in the fight. We don't want to do that though. I want to fight the Balrog. I want to defeat the Balrog. What I want to do though is to try and get the siege weapons out and going. Ballistas, catapults, I want to be prepared for when the Balrog strikes us. That's something I really want to do. Get some dwarven catapults out there and ballistas. Okay, uh, we are not going to delay further. We are going to take Kassadon West now. We're going to attack it and then we're going to try and relocate the men into both of these regions here. They have some presence on the eastern side. La Guf and Captain Hakthrak is standing here with quite large armies. They could attack the eastern side and currently at the moment we only have Gimli. Not that Gimli, but another Gimli guarding the eastern side. And he will not be enough against these kinds of an army. So we have to take the western side now. We could get some mercenaries. Uh, bandits, I'm not sure that these guys would even help us. Um, they would give us a few numbers. Merchant Cavalry, I'm not going to go for them now. Maybe later, but not now. I don't think we're going to need them too much in this settlement. We have cab. If we need cab, we can use the Dale Cavalry. Okay. Let's take the fight. High Chieftain Uglag is getting a lot of Orc defenders. He has some of these Uruk overseers, a lot of Goblin archers, Goblin infantry, Goblin band. And he himself brings the mountain Uruks. 15 attack, 21 defense. Pretty decent unit. I'm going to try and send in my Dragon Slayers and the Cassadum Reclaimers against him. They should be able to make swift work out of the Trash King himself. Hi Lord Balin, the time is now. It's time to retake the entirety of the Cassadum Mountain. Let's go into battle. The, the wind is blowing in the air. Uh, are we actually... No, we're inside of the, the mountain. We're not facing the outside. Is this going to be an easier map to fight on? Let me just take a quick look. It seems to be a far better one than if we were outside. Most definitely. We could maybe have used the cavalry in this one, actually. Because if they spawn over here, we could potentially get some more charges off if we had the merchant cav. Do we even need 
the 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 rams here. I don't think there's a gate. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, I kind of like this battle map. It looks kind of nice. Let's form the lads up. The first line. Oh, come on. Our soldiers have proved their worth. Pro prove their worth. The enemy's oh. wars belong to us now. We haven't even started the battle yet. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Archers, stand behind. I'm just going to form the guys up like this. Just go. Cavalry, stand over there. That's perfect. Okay. Start the battle. All of them are standing over there. Okay. Infantry. All of you. Go forwards. Okay. It's just, just move forwards. Don't run. Whatever you do, don't run. Start moving. Archers. I guess you could move over here. You can run. It's fine if you run. Cav, you can start moving. I think we can get some use out of this cav. What do we have here? I think this is the Orc Defender one. I'm guessing it is. Kind of looks like it. Yeah, they look a lot bigger than the Goblins. Here we have some Uruk Overseers. They're going to boost the morale. I'm not sure that they're needed, though, because they have the Trash King himself leading. The faction leader of the Goblins is leading this army. So I don't think they're going to need the Uruk Overseers because the faction leader's uh, presence will boost the morale enough to keep them in line. If he dies, though, the Uruk Overseers is going to make a big difference. Oh, this is good. They're sending forth some of their units already. Archers, how long have you gotten on your journey? Oh, you're so flippin' fast. Or slow, I mean. <laughs> you're not fast, you're so slow. <laughs> The dwarves, man, they're really slow. I'm I'm an elf lover. I love playing as the elves in this game. And when you play them much, you're getting kind of used to their insane movement speed. Um, I don't play the dwarves too often, even though they're really nice to play. But the movement speed is one of their biggest weaknesses. The thing is, the elves really doesn't have any weaknesses. Small battalion sizes. That's their biggest weakness, I guess. I guess you can start unleashing. Loose! Loose the arrows and go ham on the goblin band. We still have a timer that we need to, to win against. We have to plow through so many bodies in order to win this one. So we, we still need to have respect for the timer in this type of a battle. There we go, we've started doing some damage to the enemy. I think you can save. Wait for them to blob up, blob up actually. It's, I think it's more worth it. Okay, you guys are going on the flank. Uh, yeah, yeah. Take this way here. We're just going to surround the first units here. Cavalry, get out. Not need you to go in. Spears. Tie them up. What do we have here? Some more spears. Go forwards. You can run now a bit. Not too much, though. Yes, dwarves. You're doing mighty fine. You're doing mighty fine here. You. Go for the next goblin band. And you will flank this goblin band. They only have one unit here, one unit there, one unit there, one... Okay, a few more units here. They're sending forth their archers now. You're going to flank these goblin bands. Just try and flank them from two sides. We should be able to make swift work out of them. Go forwards. Actually, walk instead. I don't think you have the greatest stamina, so walk. Dragon Slayers, I'm going to walk with you as well. Cassidum Reclaimers, walk. You you can now charge the Goblin Band in the back. Here comes some reinforcements. Goblin Archers running forwards. Hithigli Beast Hunters all the way in the back. Take this path there and go forwards. Cavalry, I'm going to start moving you up as well. Here comes the Dwarven Flank on the Goblin Band. Yeah, they're sending in their archers into melee. 
It's great news. Keep moving, lads. Keep moving. I wonder, where is the Trash King? Where's their faction leader? Is he hiding in the midst somewhere? I guess he might be on the square. I think so. Really quite hard to spot him. No, he's over there. Yeah, he's all the way in the back. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to slog through all of these units in order to get there. We're not going to break them. Not until he's dead. They're not going to break. Look at how slow these guys are. It's going in absolute slow motion. Well, well, we have these guys tied up. That's excellent, eh? Keep moving for this area. And this is the area where I'm going to start using my archers, I think. Because they're blobbing up quite nice for us here. Back there. Cavalry, you can now form up over there and probably get some good charges off. I hope that you can. You should. Keep moving. Balin. Oh, you did get stuck there. Well, it doesn't matter. Just keep on moving. Ignore this place. These guys are finished with the Goblin Band soon. So just get out of there. What do we have here? Goblin Archers. Nothing to worry about. Come on, group up together. Every single one. You're spread out. You're not going to charge if you're like this. Come on, get together. So that I can perform a charge here. That's what I need to do. Okay, they're closing in. You can now run a bit. You go forwards a bit. Try and gather together, guys. And charge the Goblin Archers if you can. I don't think we can. Maybe. No. No charges. Try again then. Try on the goblin archers over there if you can charge on them. Are we getting a charge going? No. No charges. Okay. Swords. Go for these archers. Silence them, please. Casa Doom Reclaimers. Uh, we're not going to waste your ammunition yet. Uh, no, you're the one on that side. Move forwards. I want to save your ammunition for the king. That's what I wanted to. If you can, that's the biggest threat we have on the field of battle today. Try and charge these goblin archers in the back. From that position. I hope that you can make it happen. Are you done here? Almost. They're wavering. Finish them off. And make uh, the work completed. Charging? Yes. That was a weak charge against the goblin archers. We didn't get a lot of kills there. And that was bad. That was really bad. Orc defenders, orc defenders. Okay. Go forwards. Archers, you can now start running. Go over there. You're still fresh. Okay, that's good. Form up. Prepare to charge the defenders. Cavalry, you can go for another... No, you cannot go for that because we have this guy standing over there still. Hold your ammunition. Balin is still... Oh, we get stuck in combat again. Get out. Dragon Slayers, I'm not going to send you in just yet. Uh, I want to save you as long as I can. For when the slog fest begins, I think. What we could do with you... You can flank this unit the goblin archers oh you're taking too much time here no we're simply not getting any get good great charges off go for the orc defenders are going for you so you can just go for them dragon slayers I wanted to flank the goblin archers in the back oh the mountain orcs are now going forth axe throwers that's the unit we wanted to go for. No, the Uruk overseers, the mountain Uruks. That's where you need to throw your axes. Hithaiglir. I don't know, fire over there for now. Give some room for the axe throwers to do their thing. There we go, we're throwing our axes. We're getting a lot of casualties on them there, that's good. We're doing great damage to them. You throw at them. Are they going for me? They might just stop me. We're getting one volley off though. There we go. Doing a lot of damage to them. Great work. Keep shooting over there. You need to go forwards and get closer. I want you to flank the mountain rooks when you're done with your shots. Balim, you're getting closer to the front lines. Get here. Get here quickly. Go for a charge of the defenders. Why not? 
Uh, we're going to be stopped here by the goblin band. Okay, throw quickly. Go guard mode. Throw your axes. Beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. There we go. Good. The king should fall swiftly. He's already losing a lot of his men. Keep throwing. Pop the ability as well. Oh, they're running away. Oh, beautiful. Where is the dwarven commander? Is he in the front lines? Is this the commander? I think it might be. That's not a great position for him to be at. Absolutely not. He's already blooded up. Dragon Slayer's just getting their melee. You two, get in their melee. Finish the job. Kill the king. He's actually doing a bit of damage to him. Balin. Get over that. I was looking over here. These guys are almost dead. Finish them off. And move forwards. Don't you dare die on me. Wherever you are. This is the flag carrier. Building captured. Where are you? Where on earth are you? This is so scary. No, there you are. There you are. Oh, thank the lords for that. I think this is the commander. Okay, he's safe. He's safe. It's fine. 39 remaining mountain Uruks. Go for the Uruk Overseer's Cavalry. I was going for you. Taking some losses. You guys are done. Balin, why don't you move forwards and flank them? You can now move for the Uruk Overseers. Start attacking them. 24. Archers. Hold your shots. Wait to shoot in this area. Go for the Uruk Overseers, Balin. It's a bit risky though, moving him to the front lines like this. Is it looking? Where's the king? No idea where he's located. Should fall soon though, he's fighting some... Okay. There we go. Good, he's dead. High Chieftain Trash King is dead. Good. We're just plowing through. Totally plowing through with the enemies. Cavalry. Go for another charge on the Uruk Overseers. Let's see if we can break them. Kazad Aymenu. It's time for you to now flank this unit, the Orc Defenders. Same with you. Go forwards and flank. To try and break this unit. Uruk Overseers. They're wavering. Let's see if we can now break these guys as well. Did we break them? No, they're not quite broken yet. But they should be soon. We're plowing ever onwards with our men. There we go, they're broken. Balin, take it up take it easy. Take it easy. Archers, position yourself over there and shoot at the enemy. Go back, Balin. No, that's the wrong unit. You need to go back. I don't want you in the front lines. I don't want to risk your life. They're sending forth a few units. Let's just pause here for a little while. Let the archers use up all of their ammunition. Before we do anything else. We still have a few axes that can be thrown. I really would like to throw them in this huge blob there. That is what I'm going to try and do. Go to the side, give space for the archers, and just unleash over there. You should be able to do massive amounts of damage to them. You're not the greatest archer in the Middle Earth, but you have enough damage to do absolute huge amounts of destruction on this. You can inflict so much destruction on these weakly armored goblins. So just continue shooting. Don't do the arcing shots. You have a nice opening here. Just fire through this big hole here. There we go. Some of you are shooting a lot better. Just wait them out. No need to panic. 
No need to rush. The castle volunteers are holding the front lines here against Snaga flipping skirmishers. Not the biggest threat in the world. They're actually shaken as well. Let it fast forward. Let the ammunition be done. So that we can begin the plow. The total plow of the enemy. <laughs> I think you've gotten a few kills, actually. I think, yeah, look at that. A few casualties. We've killed 56% of the enemy forces already. It's quite a lot. That's great. Great news. You are out soon. Step aside. You are out soon as well. You are now going to move to the front lines and make sure that you can throw your axes in the blob. And the rest of the infantry will just ready up to totally move in with all of the strength we have left. Just plow through the rest. You're done. Step aside. I was looking in the front lines. The castle volunteers are actually plowing through themselves, but there's a lot of orcs we need to kill before we can take this settlement. Look at the things they have left. They have a lot of things left. They even have something over here, I think. Yes. Goblin band running away. Cowards. Just throw over there somewhere. See how much damage we can do with the reclaimers. I'm getting a lot. As long as we hit something. It's almost a guaranteed kill because these guys have a lot of damage. What are you doing? Goblin infantry. Just going out and stopping my guys from throwing. That's what they're doing. Quite the frustrating thing. Just keep throwing. Ignore those guys. Keep throwing. There we go. Almost there. I want a clean volley now. There we go. Oh, you... Started fighting. Okay, just go in then. Everyone, you can now go in. The plow begins now. Look at the amount of orc bodies. The castle volunteers have killed so many orcs on them just by themselves. What is this guy doing? He's going ham on one of my reclaimers. Is he going to get a kill on him? I hope not. Are you out yet? Yes, you are. No, not quite. I think you have like one more in you. Barling, get in. You can get in as well. You can actually get in as well. Get in there. Pop the ability. Let's go totally ham now with everything we've got except the cabin archers. And plow. Plow through. We could use one of the spears to go shield wall mode and just open the enemy up totally. You're over there. Yeah, push through with your shield wall. Look at the carnage. The dwarves are back in town. And we're out for blood, as you can see. A lot of orcs still guarding the main room, the main chamber. It's not going to be enough though. Because these are the sons of Durin. These are dwarfs. And we do not joke around. We kill everyone that tries to take what is ours. Fast forward. We're getting closer and closer. Each passing second. The timer is about at half, so we have enough time. This will be another victory. And this is really where the dwarves thrive, when you have a slogfest. That's what the dwarves love.
a total slog fest. Not too much cavalry, not too many missiles, certainly not armor piercing missiles. Just a good old fashioned scrap in melee. The dwarves are so great in that. They really are. Push forwards, go on the offensive, smash everything that is in your path. The shield wall is working magic here, look at that. We're just like a tidal wave, breaking through the enemy lines. Look at it. They're getting pushed back so quickly here. The dwarven tide is here. And there's nothing that can stop it. Absolutely nothing that can stop it. How about if all of you go in shield wall? Are we gonna push even more if you do that? Let's try. I think we might. Keep the push going, guys. No point in stopping now. Keep the slog going. <laughs> the Reclaimers, the Dragon Slayers, Balin's Guard, Sentries, the Volunteers, everyone is here. Look at them, look at the might of the Dwarves. Such greatness. So much power. Fast forward a bit. Slowly but surely getting there. Building captured. Come on, Spears, keep the push going. There we go. Don't stop yet. Keep them on the back foot. No idea where Balin is. No idea where this guy is. Was it Oin? Is this Oin? I can't remember the name of this dwarf. Oh, I think it was Oin. Not sure. I don't remember the, the dwarven names. I know Balin, uh, Dvalin, uh, Thorin, of course, in the Hobbit. I don't. Uh, Bomba, of course, he's hard to forget. Um. Keely and Feely, uh, but there is uh, a few Oin and Gloin, but I don't remember which one it is which. Um, I'll see soon when the battle is over. Keep the push going. No point in stopping now. We're almost there. They only have a few left. A few Orc defenders, a few Uruk overseers. There's not much left for us to destroy. Yes, total carnage at last. They're getting pushed back. Push them out of the square. Make them break. They're putting up a fight. These guys are... Remember, these guys are likely fresh. Put up quite the fight. But if we can push them out of the square... They might just break, and that would be lovely, wouldn't it? We're almost there. 88, let's fast forward, go time 6, and let it end. Let it end. I think they still have the Goblin Band somewhere. Dragon Slayers are getting a lot of experience. Yeah, we're taking some losses on them, though. Which is a bit sad, of course. I was going for Balin. He's taking a few losses as well. Where are you? Are you over there? You're in the front lines fighting against the Orc defenders. And how look at you? Yeah, you're zooming in on the flag carrier. That's not the right target to go for. I want the leader, the general, not the flag carrier. I think he's fine though. 95%. Come on, lads. Do it. Our men have taken We've taken control over the settlements. So only a few Snagger Stalkers left and Goblin Infantry. Get them killed. Goblin Infantry over there, focus them. Kill them all. End this fest. End this party. It is over. 
anyone we want some more experience with. Maybe you, you can go after them. Go after them. Victory dollars. A playful cheer of happiness. We could just wait it out and play safe instead. You're getting your stamina back quite rapidly. We're no longer exhausted. Are we even going to get to tired? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe. No. Okay. Charge in now. It's only 20 seconds left. Just go in. Oh, you're not going to get there in time. End the battle. The we have won here today. 642 losses and we slogged through every single thing they had. Earthworks had volunteers. Look at that. 855 kills. Uh, he thankfully, well, they didn't perform too much. Dragon Slayer reclaim is 330. Uh, 1 in 27. This volunteer, 533. I think the volunteer 855 kill guy was the first one we sent in there. Absolute insanity. So many kills. Uh, really, it was. It was, I guess, it was this unit here. Okay. Yes. Yes. The Trash King is dead. Or is he? He might be hiding somewhere. Captured settlement. We could sack it, we could occupy it, we could exterminate. We are going to just occupy. I want the population to be here. Occupy the settlement. Castledon West is now ours. Great news. What can we do? Is there anything we can destroy? Hunting hut, camp guard, sleep. I think we can use everything. Building ground we have, that's nice to start off with. Mines, butchery, we can use everything. Is there anything we can destroy in Castledon East? That I missed. No, I don't think so. We can use everything here as well. Uh, Castle and West. These mines are also really good. That's nice. Um, we cannot afford them. Let's go for the Master Stonewalkers Hall. 2600. Let's go for that. And maybe. What's the culture? We can't. Can we get another. Yes, we can get another spy. Let's get another spy then. Boost the culture up here quickly with another spy. We have an agent currently at Casadum, uh, the standard Casadum East, and the culture is at the moment 30%, yeah, which means that we can recruit these units. That means that these guys should also be free upkeep. How many free upkeep slots do we have? The commander is free upkeep at the moment. Huge city will provide two. This one will provide none. This one will provide one. Slave quarters will provide two. I don't think there's anything else. No. We can send in four units. Let's send some of the battered units in. Take these guys. Send them in. And retrain them at Casadum East. Retrain everyone. There we go. And we have a spy on the way. This garrison is going to have to stay. I'm not going to use the fort yet. I want to use it later, but I don't want to send anyone out there and getting attacked instantly by I'm these guys. Uh, they're likely going to go for me soon, I'm guessing. Uh, we could maybe actually send one of the reclaimers in there just to be absolute sure that, we, that we're going to win an eventual fight. Uh, this is going to save me some money. That's excellent news. And we will retrain them soon. It's going to give us a better, more healthy garrison. I wonder, can we get some vision here? Just one tower. Yeah. Get a tower there. Some extra vision. Pull back to Casadon West. Warriors leaders dead. Enemy army. Route trait increase. Great start. Casadon has been in its entirety reclaimed. Let us end the turn. We have a diplomat over there. Let's talk to our ally to them. Uh, did I talk to them? I think, yeah, we couldn't do anything. Yeah, we did have, we have a, had a mission, didn't we? Yeah, the high elves. Yeah, we could maybe get there, but I don't think we're going to get there in time. Try and make the journey. We can maybe get lucky and find an army on the way. Try and get there and see if we can find an army and maybe get some trade rights with them uh, to complete the mission. Let's end the turn.
Let's end it. Let's see if we get attacked instantly. I'm kind of expecting it. They have a lot of military presence nearby. A lot of presence. And we need to split up our forces. It looks like they're moving for, for the eastern part there. Luckily, we're retraining the forces. Darwinian Northmen. A change has occurred in Darwinian. The Avari have returned after the sacking of Mornadel over 2,000 years ago. And will assist the Vinelands economically. Okay, so they're focusing on the Northmen. Dwarven Grudges. Long have the Dwarves been at war with the forces of evil. Fighting hordes of goblins from the Misty Mountains. Legions of Uruks from Gundabad. The Bane of Durin in Casa Doom and dragons in the Grey Mountains. Our ancient homes of Casa Doom, Dane's Halls, Erebor, and Gundabad were lost to our enemies. Is this the, the thing that will give you. Barlin, yeah, we have started the expedition. I don't remember this. What, what did this do? Will it give us some bonuses if we take back these lands? Silver Tyne Walls. We finally cleansed the upper levels of Casa Doom from the hordes of the goblins, and we look now upon the great silver tin walls which mark our city's west way. Our scouts have reported some suspicious activity deep in the mines below the city, though, so we must save, stay vigilant. Okay. Uh, wars and wizards, a lot of things are happening now. We have brought shame to all of those who doubted us, my lord. Casa Doom is ours again. We shall begin repairing the halls and burying the dead. Now that the halls belong to us once more, we should also start expanding our realm to gather the necessary resources to completely restore the ancient ancient halls of Casa Doom. Doing so would be great would be a great opportunity to attract new citizens, miners, and reinforcements to help rebuild Casa Doom to its full glory. But be wary, we still have to purge the rest of the orc filth from the western side of the mountain, and in the deep. We should always be well prepared for counter-attacks counter counter from the goblins who think they have cl a claim to our home. Bloody hell, I'm having issues here, it feels like. <laughs> Lastly, while there has been no sign of Durin's bane as of yet, we should send word for an old friend, Gandalf known to us dwarves as Tarkun. While that dastardly demon may have slunk back into the dark pits whence he came, there's nothing wrong with having a wizard on our side. Send a diplomat to visit Bri. Tarkun was last seen there, in the company of a ranger, with unusual long legs. So chances are, the Bree folk know where a wizard is. Okay, I've seen in the comments, don't send the diplomat to Bree because then Gandalf will banish the Balrog and you won't face the Balrog. But then again, it feels like we have to do this because otherwise the script won't work. And I kind of want the script to work. Ah, uh, I don't know. What do we do here? Should I send the diplomat to Bree or not? I have a diplomat over there. I don't know. Should I do it or not? We could maybe wait. I could maybe wait until this episode is over. See, I think, yeah, some of you got it's so mixed. The, the answers have been mixed. Some have said that I shouldn't send the diplomat there because he will banish the Balrog and then we're not going to face the Balrog. And some have said that I should send the diplomat there because that's how you kick the script off in its entirety. I don't want to banish the Balrog. Uh, that's one thing I absolutely don't want to do. So I'm guessing I'm going to wait um, for the next episode so that we can get into the absolute clear on what is about to happen here. Well, I get we, we might not even reach Bree in this episode. Uh, let's just try and find the high, el high Elves first. That's the first mission. Okay, we're still getting the building six turns for the mines, three turns for the Master Stonewalker's Hall. We now have a spy in Cassadon West. Let's take a look. 16% culture here. Already. Uh, that's really good. We have a 
big army there. Another big army there. Looks like weak trash. In the most part. Uh, we could be aggressive. They have this little army there with Uruk Overseers. I mean, we could be a bit aggressive and go for Lunug the Bloody at Anon and Rod. Send out maybe Lord Oin here with a with some extra units. That is something we could do. We can get some extra recruits here as well. Um, we had we had the camp guard here. We should reach 30% rather quickly with the spy being inside. We are going to wait a little while before we head on out. We're not going to do it just yet. I want to replenish some of my forces before we move out. So we're just going to press the end turn again and wait a little while. I want to replenish some of my forces before we move out. And if the goblins decide to attack the eastern side of Casa Doom there, uh, we should be fine. Uh, we have enough. Yeah, they're attacking. Okay. Bummer. Yeah, it's not so dire, I think. It's not so dire. We have enough forces to, to push them back. I would think. We have the Reclaimers, we have Gimli, we have four units of really decent early tier units. And they bring... Oh, two flipping trolls. Oh, we couldn't see those. We couldn't see those trolls. They are actually maybe going to change a few things in the balance of power. Uh, they have this tiny arm as well. Uh, well, this... Yeah, this definitely changes things. I wonder if we could benefit of sending a few archers. I hope that they will support. If these archers will support, we're going to have so... Uh, our chances are going to be so much better. I think we, I th still think we're going to win. We have the reclaimers with us. So I think we're fine still. But um, I want to be absolutely sure that we make it happen. Yeah, that was a bit of a bummer, wasn't it? Quite the bummer. How many command stars do you have? You have full command stars. You do not have full command stars. Maybe you should just try and take out these... Uh, these goblins here. 111 against 76. High Lord Balin, destroy these overseers. Just go in and kill them. Alright, Balin. Let's take a look at his unit again. Look at these guys. I think... They can be upgraded. I'm not sure if they will get a visual upgrade. They can be upgraded, but yeah, I think so. Yeah, if they look like this, yeah, they should have a visual upgrade later. It's nice to see. 38 defense. That's insane. Start the battle. Start it. Oh, they're all the way over there. It's going to take a long time for us to get there. Fast forward and walk. Do not do not run. Whatever you do, don't run. Just walk. Take it easy, Balin. I'm going to try and get on an even playing field with them, and then strike them. Uh, they're moving. You try and get over here. Try and strike them where, where they have their captain. Yeah, there's a battle coming. Definitely it is. We are on the way towards one. As we speak. Balin and his brave 75 companions are moving for the enemy, standing on the hill over there. A slow, lumbering march towards the enemy. But we are getting there. Okay, the captain should be on this side. I want to try and get the army to this side so that we can attack the captain straight away. Get him killed as quickly as we can. And then destroy the rest and make them break. So, Balin. Are you still fresh? Yes, you are. That's good. You can now run a bit. You can run a bit. It's fine. Even though it's a hill, you can still run. And you're still fresh. Good. Prepare to charge. Okay. Form up. And charge. 
There we go, we're charging straight into the captain from the get-go. He's gonna die quickly, this guy. Oh, he fell to the ground already. Some of the guys are going totally ham here on their own. <laughs> They're not... There we go, one is... Two has stopped that now. Yeah, the flag carrier and another dude is going here. They're running away. Have we gotten the captain locked in, though? Yeah, he's General dead. There dead. we go. <laughs> Let the crows have his miserable bones. Where are they Let going, the though? Have his men. Our men are winning the oh, they're going back for so us now. Go like for them, this, then. We will smash the enemy. Attack them. Pop the ability. Go ham on the enemy. Remember, these guys are still armor-piercing, so they can do some damage to us. Now they're running away again. Excellent strategy. We're getting so many... What the, they're actually getting a few kills on the charge. So th this might be a worthwhile strategy for them, actually. Come on. Don't let them run away. Follow them. You, you charged there for a second and then you stopped. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, these guys will be singled out and surrounded. Sadly. Where's Balin? He's over there with his mighty axe. 62 remaining. Fast forward. Yeah, come on, just kill them already. Just break, damn it. Yeah, it's kill time for us. There we go. Now we should definitely finish the job. We have them locked in now. And they're dropping. End the battle. There we go. Good. Okay. Go back inside. Good. And let's end the turn again. Uh, but before we do that, we're just going to move with the diplomat first. Let's take a look at this first. Um, Dwarven culture. Expedition skip submod enabled. Well, it's not enabled. Oh, it's e e okay. If it's if it's enabled. Building limitations. No building limitations. The ring script. Oh, this one. If the ancestral dwarven homes are not controlled by any of the dwarven kingdoms, their leaders will suffer penalties until those settlements are under dwarven control. So that's what it is. We have to take back um, Gundabad and uh, Dane's Halls. Yeah, those are the regions we need to have uh, for them to be happy. Okay, go forwards a bit and see if we can find any elves. Of course, oh, hi elves. Yes, we found them. Luckily for us. Trade rights first of all. There we go. Maybe an alliance while we're at it. Yes, thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, I'm going to start the journey towards Bree now. And I'll let you guys give me the exact information. Since it was a bit of a... Some said it would, would banish it and some said that I needed to do it to get the script going. Good, we have an alliance with the High Elves, that's excellent. Okay, and we did get some extra gold there for the mission. Hopefully these guys will support in the battle. Five turns for the mining network, two for the Stonewalkers Hall. Let's end it again. There should be a few extra new units as well in the Casadum roster that we still haven't looked at. Um, we might take a look at that as well later after the battle done lendings what do you want trade rights perhaps yeah sure i'm expecting these guys to attack me later okay here we go the archers will support that's a relief that's going to help us a bit actually okay so this is a really trashy army uh, the trolls is the biggest threat we're going to focus everything we have on them the axes will be thrown at the trolls and the archers will try and shoot at the trolls as well Okay, I don't think this should be much of an issue. We have two shield walling spears that we can use in the front lines. Let's go to battle once again. 
All right, uh, this is such a great battle map. We can just hold them here at the bridge and we should be totally fine. Such a great defensive battle map, this one. Can we form up over here? Yes, we can. Shield wall guard mode, please, Spears. In this area. Axes. Stand over there somewhere. That's perfect. Start the battle. The archers are spawning in all the way back here. I'm gonna tell them to run when they enter the field of battle. It's gonna take a long time for them to get here. But it will be worthwhile in the end. And of course, we have the standard bodyguard unit. The Zenith Guard. It's 10 attack, 31 defense, effective against armor. That's a really potent melee fighter that we can always send in. 72 of them. It's really good. Archers, run into position, please. We need you to be here when the trolls arrive. The trolls are likely going to reach us before my archers can get here. But at least we have the axe throwers that can deal with them, hopefully, quite effectively. And now we wait for the hordes to arrive. That is what we're waiting for. Let's take a look at Gimli and his units. Look at that. Fancy looking dwarves. Really cool units with their shields. Helmets. The dwarven helmets, man. They're so badass. It's insane. Really cool. Now here they come. The trolls are rushing in with force. They're going to try and just totally push me over here. As soon as you're in range, axe throwers, you need to start throwing those axes. Go guard mode as well to make sure that you keep on throwing. There we go. Throw the damn axes quickly. You're loading it up. Let's see if we can get any kills straight from Getco. We're only going to get one volley, I think. Come on, throw the damn thing. There we go. Great work. Did we kill a single one? I don't think so. Keep throwing. Keep damn. Keep the throwing going. And then we're going to send him into melee because you're effective against armor. And you should be able to do quite a lot of damage to the trolls. Look at them. They're pushing through my spears here. Keep the throwing going. Do not stop here. We need to keep on throwing on them. There we go. Come on, get it. Get a few kills on them, please. A few kills at least. Ah, we're not killing a single one. These buggers are tough. There we go. First one to drop. Oh, they look at that. They made the opening for them. The trolls made an opening for the rest of the orcs and the goblins to get in. There we go. We're getting a few more kills now. Only trolls. Keep throwing, keep throwing. Do not stop. I didn't start moving with you. You need to start moving as well. Get here now. Axes, you're still throwing. That's good. Keep throwing at the trolls. Still have a few volleys off in you. One more volley. Throw it. And then go into battle against the trolls. Yeah, the trolls are tough. Deadly opponents. We're going to start sending down our swords down here. You're not finished yet. Keep throwing. Keep the throwing going, guys. There we go. Are we going to get any more kills with this? There we go. We killed one there. Good. You can now go into battle with the trolls, uh, Reclaimers. They are pretty hurt at this stage, I think, so it should be quite the easy fight for you. I'm expecting it to be quite the easy fight. We always have Gimli that we can send in later as well, if, needs, if he needs to be sent in. turned out to be quite the messy fight. The trolls really did some damage to my initial line of defense here. Here comes the volunteers, ready to battle against the goblins. How many trolls do they still have? This one has five trolls left. This one has 
And trolls, do they have four trolls? Was it the same battalion? No, four and five, so nine trolls left to deal with. Archers, uh, still have a, quite the distance left to travel. Just get to this position here and just bombard the enemy with archer fire. Oh, the poor, poor spears, man. Getting completely surrounded here. If we win this fight, I'm hoping that they will heal a few of their casualties. I don't think they're going to be able to pull through this area, though. They're not going to push through here. I don't expect them to. This troll is now fighting the volunteers. Uh, he's going to drop soon. He is most definitely going to drop soon. They're clearing a path, though, for the goblins. Look at that. They're clearing some paths for the goblins to, to push into. Come on, kill the damn thing. They're really doing a massive job here, the shoals. They're doing really well. Reclaimers, it's up to you to, to carry us through this. Come on, focus the trolls. There we go, we dropped one there. The battle is very much Come on, guys. If we remain true and steadfast, it's a bit scary, to be honest. Be Look at them pushing like absolute freaks. We need to drop the damn trolls. They are still going. Look at that. They're, oh, they're going to interrupt my thigly beast hunters. Gimli, ugh. Oh. Stand over there, block this area, please. And kill whatever tries to push through. What is this? Black pit crossbows. Oh, the spears are still alive, though. That's good. I guess we could flank them. Flank the enemy. Get into battle and flank them. They still have a few troll survivors. It's unbelievable. They usually don't last this long. Trolls are trolls, and trolls will be trolling, and do whatever they do best. Just go in and cause total havoc and harm. Oh, some of them are wavering, that's good. Well, they are surrounded, so if we're lucky, we might be able to break them quite soon. As long as if we kill the captain, they're gonna break instantly, I think. Yeah, Goblin Band, they're just going forwards. Get there, come on archers, get there. We need you. I think we have defeated all of the trolls now. No, they still have one more. One troll is still standing, still fighting. No, two trolls? Where's the other? Okay, they have a troll over there as well. Yeah, but we have these guys on the way, so yeah, it's fine. Taking more losses than I thought we would. Gimli, get into the battle as well. Get in there. We need you. We need your armor piercing damage. And you're also fresh, so we're going to be able to do a lot of damage to the enemy here. Ah, oh, look at that. They're still going. The trolls are still going. It's unbelievable. They're getting... They're broken now, though. Most of them are breaking. Victory will be ours soon. Just keep the job going. Keep fighting. And you just try and shoot at something, please. No, don't go back. Fight the guys. Fight the guys that are not yet broken. Keep fighting them. Surround them. Do whatever you can. Gimli, kill the last remaining troll, please. Get rid of it. Can you shoot at the damn thing? Just get it dead. Get rid of the damn thing. It's unkillable. Go guard mode, guys, and shoot at it. 
Gimli's on his way as well with his armor piercing. The enemy are badly blooded. They have he should die soon. He should definitely die. There we go. He's finally dead. They fought for a long time, and now we're seeing a lot of breaking. A lot of the units are broken. Skirmishers are totally waving. They're totally surrounded here. They're going to die soon, all of them. If we could kill their captain, their entire army will die instantly. They still have a few goblin infantry guys left standing. The battle is not yet over, but we're crushing them so fast here. The majority of their forces are totally broken. Goblin infantry over there, still not broken. That should break soon, though. Blow the damn horn. The Tiglir beast hunt. You might actually go into melee. I've muted the flipping game now. There we go. Sorry. Fast forward. Come on, lads. Give us the victory. There we go. Finally, it is over. End the battle. 376 losses. We healed a little bit. Let's take a look at the heals. Casa sentries. Uh, the, the sentries got the heals. Uh, we did lose a few of the reclaimers there. 624 kills for the reclaimers. Volunteers, 545. Zenith Guard, 38. Yeah, the reclaimers. MVP of the fight, for sure. They have weakened us. Uh, the reclaimers will not be retrained for quite some time. So we need to be careful about those. I don't want to, want to lose them. I want to keep them until we can retrain them, of course. Uh, we're getting some experience with them, which is always good. Casado Mist is safe for now. There we go. Total victory. Casado Mist is safe. That's excellent news. Okay. Um, new mission, Northern Dunedain. Well, we are on the way there, so it's fine. We might just go there and talk to them on the way. I will definitely do it. Ruin and Darwinian are at war with each other. Okay. Um, beast Hunters get back to Cassidy West. These guys are now free upkeep. Which means that we should be able to retrain them. No, not yet. Uh, yeah. They need to replenish first. Uh, yeah, look at that. Silver experience now on the volunteers. Let us retrain everyone here and once we've retrained these guys i'm gonna put these guys in the east and i'm gonna put these guys the freshly retrained ones into the west and i might just head on out towards anon and orod with oin let us take a look at the possibility uh, in terms of recruitment practice range will give us the dwarven travelers Free missile attack, um, basic archer, which we are definitely going to need. 25% culture. Oh, we have it. Can we recruit them? Yes, we can. That's good. Good news. Barracks. Let's take a look. Volunteers. We have the sentries. Guard barracks will give us the legion shield guard. A nice spear and shield. Can make shield wall. 27 defense. 7 attack. Really good spear units. Legion Hammer Guard, 11 attack, 24 defense, effective against armor, really powerful, effective against armor, heavy hitter unit, uh, quite early on, honestly. This guard barracks is quite easy to get our hands on. Legion Deep in Guard, standard, basic, nice, sword and board infantry, really nice. 8 attack, 25 defense, pretty good melee line. Armor Barracks will give us the Kassad. War Goat Spear Guard. Um, there might be some disagreements uh, in terms of the, the this unit. Um, 10 charge. We have a mount. And they're actually quite good. Uh, 10 charge, 27 defense. This is going to remove one of the biggest weaknesses that we have. The movement speed is still really slow. 90% for a mount. They're going to be really slow and lumbering. But we have something that can charge the enemy. And that's going to make a big difference. So we have the Kassad War Goat Spear Guard. They're likely not going to be too easy to get our hands on. But uh, we have them. Um, 
Sentries, Volunteers, and we have these guys. Casadum Guardians. Effective against armor, can make shield wall, 12 attack, 35 defense. Marvelous infantry, absolute beasts. Casadum Reclaimers, 30 attack, 30 defense. Effective against armor, skilled against mounts, 13 missile attack with their throwing axes. Once again, absolute beast unit. We have a new addition, Mithril Guard, another powerful melee infantry, 37 defense, 13 attack. Can make shield wall, effective against armor. First Legion, one of the best pikes in the game, 8 attack, 24 defense, really a powerhouse pike unit. And yeah, it's going to be so nice to have them in our armies later. Absolute wall, it's going to be impossible for the enemy to go through this line here. Sons of the Fallen, you know these guys by now, really powerful spear. We have such an insane melee line later. It's unbelievable how powerful our melee line is. It's so good. So that is something we have to look forward to. And I didn't look at the Legion crossbows. Um, 10 missile attack, 25 defense, 5 melee attack. Can you sharpen stakes? Effective against armor. Really quite a nice crossbow. This is also a new unit, I think. Really potent, really good. Dwarven Travelers, Hithaglia Beast Hunters, that is it. Is there anything else that I'm missing? I just need to take a look. Siege, Catapult Maker, Dwarven Catapult Ballista. Uh, we can get a Dwarven Laborers, of course. That's actually a nice unit. Effective against armor, they are. So they they have their use. We should absolutely try and get a Iron Monger in both the East and the West in Casadum. Master Builders, I just need to double check and see if there's anything else we can get from a, another building. Marketplace, nothing. Roads, no. Large pig farm, mines maybe? No, look at the mines, look at the mining complex. Whew, Mithril mines, oh, we're gonna be earning some pretty nice cash soon. Entertain, I don't think so. Uh, we can, of course, get the Hammers of Gundabad at uh, Gundabad and uh, the Dragon Slayers and things like that in the AOR regions. Let, there we go, Halls of du Hall of Durin. Um, and that's the region we're going to try and go after. And uh, the Hammers of Gundabad, of course, really good. 17 attack. It's really good. Effective against some of They are really heavy hitters. It's insane how great they are. Okay, one turn for this one, five turns for the mines. Arthrog the Bloody is standing outside with an army. We're not going to attack him just yet. I want to train my army. They still have like Goof here. Uh, I don't think they have trolls in this one. Might need to take a, a look though, to be absolutely sure. No trolls. Thank the Lord for that. That means that the defense of Casademies is going to be far easier without a trolls if this guy decides to attack. Diplomat is heading there. Let's end the turn again. And let's see. I have a sense that he want, might might want to go for Casadum East, uh, that general there. Let's hope not. Okay, he didn't move. He's still guarding this bridge here against Lothlorien. It looks like Lothlorien is having some issues with Dolguldur. Dolguldur have taken up uh, residence here at this fort, just close by to Karas Galadon. Master Stonewalkers have been completed. Okay. Uh, should we go for... Okay. Can we get them? Will this one give us the Dwarven Laborers? Yes, it will. 20% public... We have 33 now. Yeah, they're, uh, they're over there. I thought this was the, the Diplomat for a second. But there we go. We have them here. We don't need to, to focus the Steelmongers yet then. Okay, practice range perhaps. Large pig farm. Um, we could save the money and go for this one. The Stonewalkers Guildhouse straight away to quicken up the construction at maximum effect and make the full discount uh, I think, honestly, we're going to do that. We're going to wait with the money and go for the Stonewalkers Guildhouse whenever we can. Uh, Steelmonger. No. Yeah, let's queue this one up. Let's bump up the tax rate as well. 
for one turn so we earn a bit more extra gold. Recruitment report, diplomatic information, Isengard and Gondor, Moria and the Dunlendings. That's really good for us. That is actually huge news. That's going to stop them a bit. They're going to now fight each other a bit. That's really good. Production, we're number eight already. It's quite promising. Okay, first of all, let's get the money from the Northern Dunedain. Um, trade rights. Alliance. Yes. Map information, just take for 400 gold coins. Will you take it? Yes. Good. Let's move for Bree. I will stop it if it will stop the Balrog. There we go. We've got some bonus gold coins. Uh, that is definitely going to make us afford this one in the next turn. That's huge. We're now going to make a bit of a replacement here with these forces here. Pop them there. Send in a few of these guys in there instead. At Casado East. Send them in. Uh, keep retraining. Yeah, go for the cheaper ones. Yeah, let's go for them, them as well, actually. Okay. Cavalry. Uh, we're going to take you with us. Oin. You will join. I will march the Hithaiglid archers. And I will take the cab with us as well. We can get more mercenaries. I want to save the money, though. I really want to save the money so that we're absolutely sure that we will construct the guild house in the next turn. Uh, we could... Oh, we cannot reach the fort. Stay inside of our own territory for a turn. Very high here. It's going down. Go for normal here. Bump up the money just for one turn. And... Uh, tiny arm over there. Not the scariest arm inside of Anon and Orod either. Let's end the turn once more. He's getting back in. No more trolls as of what we can see. Uh, we should really take out that general as well. Uh, the bloody. Uh, Arthrug the bloody standing outside of Cat. Oh, he moved away now. He moved into that army, I think. If they want to attack, let them. We're going to crush them. If they do, no issues. Darwinian resplendent. Okay. New mission. Perfect timing. It's going to give us a cash injection. Good. Cassidy and West. Go for the Stonewalkers Guildhouse. Good. You can now lower the tax rate again. You can go for normal. I want it to grow. Same here. Go to low. Keep it growing. They are now being retrained. Can we retrain the rest of the units? Not this one quite yet. We can actually recruit another unit. We should absolutely try and do that. Uh, whenever we can. Yeah, you're moving into Bree. Weathertop. I'm not going to move into Bree land territory in this turn. I will do it in the next one. In the beginning of the next episode. Lord Oin. Let's attack Anon and Rod. Really want to claim this castle. Let's put it under siege. This is a castle, so their towers will do damage. But um, I think this force is more than enough to take it. We have great infantry. We even have some cavalry as well. We have some archers. I think we should be fine. In terms of recruitment overall, seven turns for the Dwarven Travelers, 11 turns for the sentries, and... Uh, we can recruit uh, Casa volunteers, and after that it's going to be 10 turns for the next available unit. Uh, so we're getting there. 37% uh, culture here. After this one is done, I think we should try and go for the Ballista Maker and the Catapult Maker. I think so. We need to get the Dwarven Catapults out there. Require Steelmongers and uh, the Catapult Maker. 
we need this one. So ba Ballista Maker, start getting Ballistas, and then Steel Mongers after, and then the Catapult Maker, I think, is the thing we're gonna go for. And after that, we can then focus on getting the mining networks and all of the financially beastly u buildings completed. I really want to maybe start with these ones because they really help you out early on, but I really feel like we need to get catapults and ballistas as quickly as we can uh, for when the Balrog attacks. So we are going to focus it there. And here, this one will be done in three turns. It's gonna ha it's gonna be so nice. It's gonna be a huge cash injection when we get this one completed. It provides so much money. It really does. 1,764. 200 plus in building income. Culture increase as well. Population growth is such a marvelously fine building. And the next one is even better. Look at that. 1% growth. 2 culture. Massive amounts of extra gold coins. Such a powerhouse building. The mining complex. Okay. That is going to be it for the second episode. Remember uh, to let me know. I, I, I don't know who I can trust here because since you're saying different things here. I think that the correct way is that you need to send the diplomat here, whatever you do, uh, to get the script going. I could be wrong though, so that's why I'm not going to go there in this episode. I want to know for sure that this is the right thing to do. And not banishing the Balrog, because the Balrog needs to die. He drove us away before, and he needs to perish now. That is just the way of things. It is the way of things. Okay, I hope that you've enjoyed as much as I am. Have a great day. Goodbye to you all.